In this tutorial, I'll go through the math behind making a guide for the circular ruffle. So I know my sleeve edge is around 223 millimeters. The circumference of the inner edge of my ruffle needs to match that. That means that my first guide circle needs to have the same circumference. To get Marvel's designer to automatically set up the circle, you need the radius that matches the circumference. First, we will determine what the diameter of the circle is. So we'll get out our calculator here. And this is 223, it's the edge we're trying to match. And we want to divide that by the constant pi. This gives us the diameter, but we need the radius, so we need to divide this by 2. Now we have our radius. So we can go here, left click, and put in our radius. So now we have our inner circle. Okay. The large circle will help determine the length of the ruffle. I know I want a ruffle with a final length of 80 millimeters. If I add that, that the final desired length to the radius of the inner circle, I get the radius for the large circle. So we have our radius here, and we're going to add 80, which is the final length that I want. And here is the radius of the large circle, 115.49. So we're just going to click here. and get our large circle. Now our guide is complete. I want to show an alternative way of making the circular ruffle pattern that mimics a real world pattern better than the other tutorial that I did. In the other tutorial, um, that method was simpler, easier, but this one is a little bit more authentic because in real life you'd cut out your pattern, then cut it open so that you can lay it flat and sew it to the edge of your garment. And that's what creates the fullness. So to begin, let's pick this tool. All right, let's get him a little bit closer. And we'll go here and here. And I'm going to do the inner circle first. I'm going to hold Alt first here. Then I'm going to hold Control. See if I can make curvy lines. Just going to quickly hold these out along the guide here. Okay. And then I'm going to go up here. So now I need to put Alt here, go back and hold Control again, get the curvy lines back. And you don't have to be super perfect with this, the program is pretty forgiving. Just want to get it in the ballpark of the guide points. Best you can. Now I'm going to zoom in here for this last point. I need it to match up with the first points that I put down. Okay. Now I can delete my guide. Don't need that anymore. And you can clean up points and such. And once you're done, select the pattern. Use the arrangement points just to get it in the vicinity of where it's supposed to go. So now I'm going to arrange it flat and then just rotate it on the closer. Get it so that where it should be. Alright, and back in the pattern window, I want to can copy this, control C, and paste it with control V. 
and with the select it, we're going to also arrange it the same way, arrange stacks. We are going to flip this one vertically. Now we're going to go to the sewing part. We need to free sew this. So I'm going to start with the outer edge. It doesn't really matter what edge you start with, but this is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do the inner edge. And then we want to segment sew these seams closed. I'm going to go ahead and give them a folding angle of 360 so they make a nice indentation. Okay. Make sure to sew the ripple to the actual edge using free sewing. Okay. Now I'm going to change this to silk. Simulate. And use Q to take this down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to lower the particles. Okay. And a Another final adjustment you can make is to change this outer seam to something like 270 up to 360 to get more of an indentation here at the edge. That's really just personal preference. Gives you that nice thong there, it's more realistic. And that's how you do a circular self-faced ruffle.